were working under a car, and hobnail boots and the butt end of a rifle suddenly appeared. One mechanic in Norton Keynes had to have his wits about him when this terrifying situation occurred. The gentleman who sent in this story wishes to remain anonymous. The following is written in his words. About 30 years or so ago I needed to have some paintwork repaired on my car and ended up going to a small car body repair unit behind the big house on Lime Lane, Pelsall. I've never liked that end of Pelsall because I've always found it to be a bit eerie. I remember when there used to be an old antiques place there and they used to have really old furniture inside and old antique prams out the front which were really beyond repair. I remember going in there once. That was eerie too and I didn't like it much. The chap who ran the car body repair unit had been there for quite some time and had built up a good reputation, which is how I came to hear of him. He was a pleasant and talkative chap who was getting on in years. After giving me a quote, the chap who ran the place was quick to tell me, if you see anything unusual in here, it's the ghost. I was a bit surprised that he said this to be honest as I was just a customer and he didn't know me from Adam. He then went on to say that the reason he told me was because something happens every day. The unit was quite plain with two vans inside of it and the area where he did all the bodywork. It was a modern unit made out of corrugated steel. He pointed out to me one of the vans in the corner of the unit and told me that he regularly saw the legs and feet of a man behind it and often heard footsteps, but he had never been confronted by the ghost. He told me that the first time he saw it was when he was working under a car. He heard someone walk into the unit and assumed that it was a customer until he looked to his left and saw a pair of hobnail boots and the butt of an old-fashioned rifle. He said he'd never been so scared in his life. He was frightened to move. Then the boots just walked away and out of the building. When he thought it was safe to move, he got from under the car and was so shaken that he decided to lock up for the day and go home. He said that he had never expected something to happen in Pelsall quite like that. The following day he mentioned what had happened to him to one of the workmen from one of the other units to find out if they'd seen anyone with a gun on the site. Straight away he was told that the ghost with the gun was well known on the site and it was assumed to be the ghost of Mr Yates who was a very successful businessman who once occupied the house which faces the road. One day, Mr Yates picked up his rifle, marched into one of the older outhouses at the back of the house and blew off his head. He was apparently a keen huntsman, which is why he had ready access to a rifle. The unit was built exactly where the outhouse once stood which is why the ghost was there. Due to the elapse of time, I have been unable to locate the owner of the business mentioned above. Since this business closed, it is unknown as to whether the new business which now occupies these premises has encountered the ghost of Mr Yates.